Pause the read if you must. This man said, this is just a piece of office art. A thought-provoking reminder of unexplored avenues and game design. Yeah, how about we keep that unexplored? But he said, tying your real life to your avatar has always fascinated him. Why? Is nobody going around here thinking that Buddy needs to be mentally evaluated? And now that I think about it, even if he doesn't like push to, you know, make this go on a market or anything like that, which I think he's not. I mean, come on now, that'd be asinine to try and get that because you got to go through multiple channels, right? He ain't going to, it's just a piece of office work, as he said. I am a believer in influence and the fact that you made this possible leads me to believe there may be a possibility in the future that somebody will try to imitate this. They're going to be on the internet, dark webs or whatever, and try and find their own schematics on trying to design something very similar. This time, this person may actually be a psychopath and they ain't willing to go through the proper channels or whatever and may not even mm -hmm. properly disclose the fact that the device may be dangerous and it may actually hit the market. Next thing you know, we actually got a sword art online going on in real life. If not, if that don't happen or whatever, I could almost envision somebody greedy wanting to fund this type of idea, not necessarily put it on the market, but fund it elsewhere where it can be of use. Think prison systems. Imagine doing a bid for some weed and they hit you with the A. You want a loyal sentence? Just put this device on. If you beat the game, you get out. Okay, but what if I lose? Don't worry about that. You know the VR shit that they was using in Cyberpunk? And you know what they was using it for. Mm -hmm. We done skipped all over that. Yeah, man, we going straight for the... <laughs> Done.